Let's re-record everything. Woo! Okay, so hey guys, for the second time. Woo! My audio didn't record, so I have to do this all again. <laughs> so I just finished Captain Spirit, and man, I really love this game. Um, I almost cried, I got jump scared to death. <laughs> um, and then this happened. The oh, god damn it. No! He does have powers? So suffice it to say that I really like this game. Um, and I, then I'm probably gonna love Life Strange too. But that's not the topic for today. Um, today we're looking back, back at the earliest and the latest of the Life Strange universe. So, let's go. Um, so for the people who haven't played any of these games, um, please do. Episode 1 of Life Strange is free, and that's where Max gets her powers. And Captain Spirit is also free, and I got a series on Captain Strange, right? Captain Strange. Uh, Captain Spirit, right, somewhere. Um, but anyways, um, so let's first meet our characters then. Uh, first, there's Max, uh, best friend of Chloe Price, which you might know from my Before the Storm series right over somewhere. <laughs> so, so yeah, she was Chloe Price's best friend before she moved to Seattle. After four or five years, uh, Max moves back to Arcadia Bay, where Chloe still lives, um, and back to Blackwell Academy. And one day, uh, Nathan Prescott, this student at Blackwell... Okay, so quick wardrobe change, I really li don't like that t-shirt. And yes, you might know Blackwell from Blackwell the Base and my Subnautica series. Uh, anyway, Nathan tells Chloe to meet him in the women's restroom of uh, Blackwell. I mean, to Chloe, Max was hiding behind one of the stalls and witnessed her get shot by Nathan. He's had it enough with people trying to control him. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! And he pulls the trigger. And um, Chloe dies it's in front of Max, which... She doesn't actually know it's Chloe uh, until later, um, but maybe her unconscious uh, just might realize it's Chloe, I don't know. Um, anyway, she steps up and puts out her hand and time begins to move slower and slower until it serves and she goes back in time to save Chloe um, by hitting a fire alarm. This is where Max gets her power. Okay, now Chris. Um, and yeah, spoilers, I guess, but it had to be in the title. Sorry. Yeah, Chris also has powers, but not time travel powers. His power is a bit unclear. He tries to use telekinesis through the entire game, but at the end it looks more like levitation. Who knows, he might be using telekinesis to lift himself up. Uh, up. Um, so what happened that gave Chris his powers? Well, Chris's dad, Charles, um, blames his son for the death of um, his wife, Chris's mother, uh, Emily. And, and if it wasn't for you, she would have never taken the car that day. Never. Um, after this, Chris runs away and he runs to his treehouse, the Flying Fortress, is what he calls it. Um, and while climbing uh, up the tree, he falls, and this happened. The oh, god damn it! No! He does have powers? Well, you already saw it, but I don't know. I really like this moment. So why then do Max and Chris have powers? Well, my Flint's quad no. Gotta have a name to call you guys. Redheads? Scarlet. That's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, I don't know, and I don't care. Point is, I think I found the answer. So here are the requirements how to become a superhero or a human time machine. First, you need to have witnessed or be victim to a traumatizing experience. And secondly, you need to have an accident happen to you right after and that will determine your ability. Let's look at the examples. Max, uh, she sees someone, which she may or may not know it's Chloe, get shot. 
and she wants to save her but she already knows it's too late she already got shot so she puts out her hand and wants to reverse time she then does Chris he falls and he wants to save himself he wants to stop his fall how does he do that levitate of course and there you have it the step-by-step -step plan on how to become a superhero in the Life is Strange universe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye guys. Wait. Okay. Uh, so right after I finished writing the script I thought of something. Um, what if Rachel did have powers? Like we see at the end of episode 1 of uh, For the Storm that um, when she sets fire to the, uh, to the trash can and she kicks it over um, when she screams, there are uh, gusts of wind, and we all thought, "Wow, she does have powers. There are powers in uh, Before the Storm." Whoa! Does she have a power too? Uh, but then, right after that, um, it isn't brought up ever again. So. Maybe she doesn't realize that she has powers. Um, and it fits our theory. Uh, she thought she saw... She saw... She saw! She thought she witnessed her dad um, cheating on her mother. So that's the traumatizing experience. The accident is setting fire to uh, our insights for fun. <laughs> no. The accident is setting fire to the forest. But maybe she doesn't want to um, put the fire out, but maybe just uh, let it spread um, because she is so angry. So the gust of wind would do that. I don't know yet, but it, it really fits uh, the theory, so I really like it. Um, also, in the first Life of Strange, uh, Chloe tells Max that uh, the storm is Rachel's revenge. See what I'm getting at here? Hmm. We'll have to look into this more, but I think we're onto something. Okay, um, this time for real. Bye, guys. But then again, I think uh, this time was better than the first time. We'll see. Did you guys like a blooper reel video? Funny moment? I have a lot of uh, things. A whole Doki Doki Liver is a episode, uh, which never got released. Bye, guys.